Hey, what's going on YouTube? Southern Knights yet again with another video. Before you watch this video all the way through, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And with that said, I wanna talk about China and Taiwan right quick and the conflict that they got going on right now. Now, this is definitely gonna to escalate to something else due to the fact that Taiwan came out and said that they had long range missiles that can actually hit Beijing. Now, and it came, the equipment came from the United States. Now you have a similar situation over here in Russia to where um, Ukraine now had long range missiles that can actually hit the territory of Russia. So you, you see what's going on here. So now with the Taiwan situation, everybody keep asking um, if Taiwan is allegedly evaded, will the United States come to their defense? And it, every time they answer that, it seemed like it's a southern, a southern delay or stutter or <laughs> it's something. It, it's like a pause. So I'm thinking that I'm going to be honest with you. I'm thinking that um, these countries are getting baited in to go against Russia and China. And then when an all out battle come about, then I think the United States, to my opinion, is going to stay out of it. Yeah, they're going to provide weapons and whatever the, whatever they provide like they doing now but i'm talking about like boots on the ground aircrafts and net to net with these countries i don't see it and i'm gonna tell you why i don't see it because the united states is looking for a another 1945 meaning that after all of the countries um, destroy each other, the United States, I feel like, is going to stay out, at least that's their plan, is going to stay out of the major conflicts and try to remain a superpower while all the other nations at each other's throats. That's what I, I believe that the United States, what, what their plan is anyway. Because, you know, 1945, that was like what you consider the golden years. And I think that the United States and the people is looking for them years again. And the only way they can get those years again is if they do a reset. World War II was kind of like a reset um, to where they can distribute whatever financial situation that they want, whatever currency that they want. Hell, they can even use bottle caps as the currency. <laughs> that would have been official if they would have chose that. So World War II was kind of like the reset of the financial system, the industrial age to where trade is a concern. And I think the United States is looking for another one of those 1945 celebrations, we won the war type situation. But the problem is, it's not going to be like that because you have other nations with long range missiles. You have other nations with nuclear capabilities or nuclear warheads. So this is a, this is a whole nother ball game. This is a whole nother ball game. And then if NATO falls short along with the rest of the United States allies, do you think the other nations just going to sit idly by and be like, ah, we won the war in the United States. You over there by yourself. Yeah, they might say that, but they, they, <laughs> they coming here next. So that's basically what I'm trying to say. 
it's going to be impossible for those years to come back. And, and I see a lot of those peoples that benefited, particularly the baby boomers, is yearning for them years to come back. Or the generation, which was Generation X, that wanted to live like the baby boomers until 2008 happened and it changed the trajectory of the economic system and everything went down a down spiral then you have inflation going up so i don't think that those years coming back now anything can happen i'm not saying that they could try but due to my calculations due to what i'm looking at and due to the fact that i'm a student of history it is impossible <laughs> I'm, i mean i'm willing to challenge anybody on that it's impossible it's it's definitely impossible and then not only that all uh, it's more nations that it's going to be key players than it was in World War II. So, hey, <laughs> so what, what I'm seeing right now is China getting ready to um, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Taiwan. Russia done came out and said, okay, since y'all um, sent these long-range missiles, then we going to expand our offenses, meaning that the capital most likely going to get bombarded. You know, because it's going to be a tit for tat. I mean, if they send the missiles, we got missiles too. And you know how Russia's missiles get down. You already see, seen it. So you have all of these conflicts that's coming up. You have Israel and Iran now threatening each other with the drone situation saying and saying basically saying that um we need to stop um iran for having nuclear weapons good luck with that but yeah so i'm I, I, i'm gonna I'm tell y'all something too i i really think um israel won't be talking this bit stuff if it wasn't for the united states i mean if they knew because they over there by themselves and they know. Can you put your trust in the United States as far as would they would they help Israel? Because I know the relationships between Israel is a lot different. Now, if it was Great Britain, then I would think most likely I would think the United States will intervene or go toe to toe with it, but only if it's on an equal playing field. But then again, you don't know. <laughs> we don't know. So that's my take on it. It's definitely going down. World War Three is on the horizon. The writing on the wall. Everybody is picking sides. So this ain't the time to where people can keep hopping back and forth because the everything is back to normal now. So now everybody want to hop back on the team that they was on, but when everything was spiraling through the pandemic, now, you know, everybody want to switch sides and stuff. See, sooner or later, that's not going to happen. Whatever side you switch on, that's the side you're going to be on. So this is what I see. This is the reality. And this is how everything is basically playing out in 2022. People try to predict, uh, oh, okay, it's going to be a major war um, around, um, what, 2028 and 30 and all that stuff. See, the reason why they saying those dates from years on now, because they trying to prolong the mandate. When people say war going to break out 2030, they being unrealistic. I'm just being honest with you. And technically want you to believe that the war is going to be far off. 
You see what I'm saying? So when people say, oh, the, by 2030, look, this stuff can pop off at any moment. So don't don't believe that hype because there's a lot of people I see pushing that. And it's another way to get people caught off guard at the same time. So with that said, <clears throat> I'm going to end this video right here. I think I said what I said when I can't when it come down to World War Three is on the horizon. And my question is, are y'all ready? If a major war was to break out right here, right now in this country, will y'all be prepared and will y'all be and not just physically prepared? I'm talking about mentally prepared because this type of stuff, you see how war torn people is when it comes down to war after they come home. So imagine it being on your doorstep. I don't think a lot of people mentally prepare for that. For one, there's a lot of people out here that still playing with fire and still playing games. So, but you know how this place is, you know, it, it got to be in front of their faces and knocking on their door in order for it to take, for them to take it serious and take heed to the situation. It got to be, hey, I'm World War Three. how you doing? <laughs> it's got, it's got to be on that type of situation. But with that said, that's all I got for y'all today. If I see anything come up out of these situations, then I will come back and report it. All right, y'all. Peace. Subscribe to the channel.